you know, I think that uh, it was a great victory for our program and for our team. Um, you know, having a signature win, um, you know, anytime you can play an additional, uh, you know, couple of frames in overtime and come away with the victory is always big and it's always promising for uh, the remainder of the season and, and the rest of the games yet to be played. Um, really, really tough battle that, that we, uh, we were very fortunate to come out with the victory. Um, you know, we, uh, we've, we were fortunate enough this time around when we played them to win more face-offs than the last time. We still didn't win as many face-offs as we would have liked. However, we, um, we, we took better shots. We took smarter shots. Um, we didn't shoot as well as we would have liked. Obviously, we would have liked to have a little bit more of those shots on cage. Um, however, you know, the guys that did a good job of, like you said, possessing and valuing the lacrosse ball, um, you know, being able to have the ball for, you know, good portions of the game and in that final frame having it almost the whole frame, um, you know, we were very fortunate to, to, to have the ball, to have the opportunities to take those looks. Um, and it's just smart overall play. You know, Reese had two nice assists in the game, just valuing the ball and making good decisions with it. And, and that, that's what you're hoping as the season progresses. Again, you just want to continue to get better and, and guys make better decisions with the ball. Yeah, I think it was huge. Um, as a team, we've been really stressing that game. That was a big game for us away in Westminster. Um, with it going into overtime, you know, always uh, tension was high. Um, it was a hard-fought battle, though, and we ultimately came out on top, and that was, it was a great win for us. I think absolutely. Uh, now heading into you know the remainder of our last couple games here, and ultimately, hopefully, we'll be uh, in the RMAC championship against Westminster once again. And I think uh, we'll be victorious with that once again. Um, this victory was huge. You know, it's just, it's a big point for us, uh, tying the season up at one one apiece. Um, with the first game, you know, it was our first game of the season as well. Um, we're a better team. They're also a better team, but I think we've come a long ways since then, and, and hopefully we're just going to continue to grow into the last game of the season. I, mean, I think that the chances are definitely there. I mean, we've got to take care of business. They have to take care of business as well. But, I mean, after almost the whole our next season being played, uh, without a f with, with a few more contests being played this weekend, um, you know, it would look as if, you know, the, our two teams are the two stronger teams. Um, again, anything can happen any given day. Anyone needs to play. Um, we most certainly have proven that in previous games, not playing as strong as we could have for all four quarters or even for a half. Um, and so ultimately, um, if we continue to come out and take care of business, and I think they will do the same because they're an older team. Uh, you look at their roster, they play a few more upperclassmen than we do. Um, you know, I think that both of us have the ability to continue on with the pace of play that we're playing to get there. Um, but it's, you know, it's six more games away, and we've got a big one this weekend against Pueblo. Um, you know, it, it was two weeks ago since we played them last, and, and they really, you know, caught us off guard with a lot of off-ball movement, and that's something, again, that, uh, that we'll prepare for later on this week. Um, you know, as a second-year program, they continue to grow. Coach Blair's done a great job with those guys, and, and they don't play like they're a second-year program. They, they very much play like their fourth, fifth-year program, uh, very similar to how we were a few years ago. And, um, you know, I think that, that it's going to take a, a very, very strong effort. They came and matched us punch for punch last time in the first half, and uh, we needed to get our team's attention at halftime and, and really close the game out strong. Um, but, you know, right there, if, if we are fortunate against Pueblo, we stay, stand there playing Adams again this weekend. So we've got, you know, two big games coming up this weekend that, again, today, Tuesday, we're going to focus on ourselves a little bit. And then, um, you know, from there we'll go out and, and, and we'll start to focus on our opponents, uh, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday this week. Unbelievable, you know. I mean, I think that um, if you're able to catch the last couple of minutes of the, the you know, the overtime frames and also regular season frames, um, you know, Zach stepped up and and just made some unbelievable stops there to, to give us a chance to, to keep playing. Um, and you know, he he actually had class before this, and so he couldn't get up here. Um, but he'd be a great guy to be sitting here talking as well. Um, but you know, Zach's a, a, a stud, and he's been playing lights out. And um, you know, first game we tested him by playing one of the younger guys, and both those younger guys are are very stellar in Ram and Nick. And uh, you know, Nick, at the end of the day, we've just really kind of started playing harder and recognized that as a senior, you need to step up and make the plays that we knew he was capable of doing.